In this video, how to install Microsoft Office using PowerShell. First, right-click on the Windows Start icon and select Terminal Admin. If you're using Windows 10, select Windows PowerShell Admin instead. Type this command in the PowerShell window and hit Enter. This script uses the Office deployment tool from Microsoft to download and install Microsoft Office. A new window opens where you can download and install all Office versions, Microsoft Project and Microsoft Visio or standalone apps like Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. For example, I will install Office 2024. By default, the 64-bit version in English will be installed, but you can edit the options as needed. If you want to completely remove all installed Office apps, you can also do it from here. Once you're ready, click the Submit button. The installation will start automatically. It might take a while depending on your internet speed, so please be patient. Once the process is complete, you can close the PowerShell window. Microsoft Office should now be listed in the Installed Apps list. After installation, you will have a few days to try Microsoft Office with full features. After the trial period, if it is not activated, all editing features will be disabled. Alternatively, if you don't want to type the command every time you install Office, you can create a batch script to do it automatically. First, create a new text document. Enter this code snippet into the text file. Next, save the text file as a batch script with a .bat file extension. Change the save as type from text document to all files. For example, I will save it as install.bat. From now on, to install Office, you just need to run the batch file as an administrator instead of typing the command in PowerShell. In some cases, you might want to download the offline installer to install Office on multiple computers without an internet connection. You can use the same script. Change the mode from install to download. Select an Office edition and click the submit button. The process will start automatically and all downloaded data will be saved in a folder on the desktop. It might take a while depending on your internet speed, so please be patient. Once the process is complete, you can close the PowerShell window. You can now copy the folder to a USB drive or place it in a network share to install Office on other computers without an internet connection or re-downloading. For example, I will temporarily disable the internet connection on this computer. Run the batch file to install Microsoft Office. As you can see, Office can be installed from the offline installer without an internet connection. That's it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next videos.